Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be traversing through a website called Liminal Land. I have absolutely no information on what this is. All I know is that a lot of people have been begging people not to go on this website because it's apparently really f***ed up. But if you hear me a bit quieter, that's because it's early in the morning uh, and I wanted to freak myself out a bit. So we're going to be traversing through Liminal Land. I have, again, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. Um, and if you do know what Liminal Land is, then get ready for for a ride if some shit is about to go down. We're just gonna be traversing through this. All right, let's see some attractions in Liminal Land. I already clicked home, nothing's happening. Attractions, okay. The Hall of Walls, that is the back rooms. <laughs> Liminal Land's signature maze experience, great. Paradise Playrooms, what the hell, the lap track. Upper levels of Subliminal Land, very subliminal. The happiest ride on earth. It looks fair, except that woman is falling. I don't like that. Centrifuge Skyliner. Rumored to hold up to 100 riders at a time. It was rarely full. The things in the back, they look like one of those toy cars. Like the ones that everyone was in in like the 2000s. Oh my god. Unknown. Jesus. The Chrysanthemum. Much about this ride is unclear to this day. If you recall this, please fill out the form below. Ha. <laughs> I probably- I do not remember this. <laughs> Cape, where were you? If you or someone you know has any recollection of a prior visit to Liminal Land, please fill out the following form with your experience. Your account is vital to the preservation, what the hell, of the events that transpired within the park. Okay, great. The fun house. That doesn't look very fun to me. Look at them all happy. That's so nice. Isn't that beautiful? Also, there is not a head on this one. I don't know what that means, but okay. Accommodations. Welcome home. Ooh, I don't like that. What the hell? One of the finer creations of Liminal Land Park came with the creation of their flagship accommodation, the Holistic and Opportune Mutual Experience for Home. The home project that... <laughs> the back rooms in here. Uh, encompass a sprawling underground suburbia, perfect for families who traveled from out of state to experience liminal land for themselves. Oh, Lord have mercy. What the hell? Why is there just a random park here? Built from the repurposed bones of the Lake City Observatory employee housing structure, the site once housed the facility's clean energy workers and their families at the time of creating one of the largest underground communities in existence. Okay. Upon its opening, liminal land aimed to celebrate the sense of community by transisting home's purpose uh, away from employees and geared towards park visitors, many of whom felt overwhelmingly comfortable while inside due to its illus illusory nature. I don't, know what, I don't know how to say that. The sensation of homeliness was the sole intention behind the project, as Sharon sought to keep guests inside the park for as long as possible in hopes of maximizing profits. Because of its goal, home would be the only in-park hotel offered to guests, reportedly containing around 10,000 concurrent operational rooms at its peak, spread, about, spread out over a handful of square miles underneath Liminal Land. Okay, so that's Liminal Land in the Lake Valley Mining District. Even has its coordinates. Make sure you go. Uh, you should go here, everyone. What the fuck? Sorry to take you out of the immersion, everyone. But this, all of these are surprisingly AI generated. No matter, which is actually kind of crazy. Oh shit! Yeah, see, she, <laughs> her face is not very uh, well. Uh, but this is kind of creepy, though. God, there's so many. There's a toilet. I want to stay in the toilet. Uh, I mean. You know. Okay, well that's great. Archives. Investigation tape, the liminal land anomaly. Recovered investigation tape detailing strange occurrences surrounding something nicknamed the liminal land anomaly. We have an idea of what this ride can be, however it's still mostly ambiguous. Should I watch this? Okay, case file, the anomaly within liminal land. In recent months, NMSP has been made aware of an anomalous attraction at liminal land park. The ride is believed to be tied to numerous cases of facial deformity as noted by Lake Valley Regional Hospital. Oh, hell no. LVVT has declined to cover these cases on local television as usual depictions are not suitable for general audience. We hope this record will serve as a suitable and alternative case study for the liminal land anomaly. This is definitely giving me analog horror feels because it is an oh. Oh god. That's my dad! Rick Ackerman, 42511, sales agent, mild anxiety. Okay, good for him. Rick visited Liminal Land in July of 1988. He has a wife and three children. Congratulations! Then just ends the tape. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> he had three children, that's not okay. He allegedly snuck away from his family to ride the Liminal Land anomaly alone. This photograph was the last time his family saw him alive. Great! Make sure not to go on this ride. The following photo is an illustration of his facial structure after riding the Liminal Land Anomaly. I don't want to see this. 
Oh, he's happy! He's very happy. And he lost his mustache a bit. So whatever it did to him, he, he lost, he de-aged. Rick's cause of death remains under investigation until further notice. Lena Sorensen, 4454 teacher. There was no medical notes. Lena brought her first grade class to Liminal Land. <laughs> oh, wow. In winter of 1984, she wanted all of them to die. Why are they so small? <laughs> Well, there, Lena decided to take the children to the park's paradise playgrounds. Oh, good for them. Lena remained with the children for seven minutes before she suddenly left a building through the rear exit. What is up with this roller coaster that turns everyone into zombies? The children were left alone for eight hours and never noticed she left. Lena's body was discovered in a patch of dirt behind the liminal land anomaly. What the hell? What is this ride? Falling photos and illustration of her facial structure after her body was recovered. I don't... I don't want to see this. Why do you blur it out anyway? Lena's deformity. Oh god. Oh god. Ew. That is a bit weird. That is a bit weird. Lake Valley police refuses to elaborate on their findings from the crime scene. So what the hell is going on here? So there's just a random roller coaster that people go to. Maria Ramos 48553 director arthritis. Oh no. It's because she had arthritis that she went to the ride. Guys, don't have arthritis. Maria visited Liminal Land alone in November of 1982. Maria allegedly rode the wheel before making her way to the Liminal Land Anomaly. That is an interesting ride. I would like to go there. That day, the Liminal Land Anomaly was reportedly closed for repair. Why is this ride still going? Why don't they just close the goddamn ride? Park employees recall seeing a woman near the ride's controls, yet did nothing to question or stop her. What the hell? If you know this is happening, <laughs> shortly after the ride reportedly engaged with the woman in the furthest rail car to the rear. Okay. The Liminal Land Anomaly was allegedly closed due to a faulty failsafe, causing the ride to run multiple times per session. <clears throat> she just had a lot of fun. The ride ran for 26 minutes non-stop. The following photo is an illustration of Maria's facial structure after the ride was brought under the control. She got her money spent. That was, that was good. Oh god. Oh, wow, she doesn't even look like herself anymore. That's not okay. She has like a bloody nose too. I don't like that either. Dude, she lost all of her hair. Maria's incident marks the first known death by the liminal land anomaly. Really? What the? The investigation by the NM NMSP is ongoing. Great. Protect and serve. Okay, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, um, let's go back to the archives. <laughs> That was great. That was great. So let's read some documents. I'll probably get a skim through these, but you know, if you want to read them yourself, go freaking go on this website yourself. <laughs> Hall of Walls. Yeah. Okay. So this is just the back rooms. Put yourself in this ever-expanding vision and lose yourself today. <laughs> Doctor Schlittenberg. No, I'm just kidding. Doctor Schlittenberg used his advanced knowledge of the human mind to push and eventually shatter the boundaries of what may be believed possible for a theme park crafting an experience that can only be described as Liminal Land's crown jewel. So it's just a maze that screws your brain up. Within these walls, you can press the pause button on reality as you know it, and for a brief moment, truly escape? What? Which exit will you leave through? Well, that's something you'll only know once you're inside. Lord have mercy on my soul. Lake Valley Police Annual Report. By quick response time from our emergency responders, nothing could be done to salvage the home set ablaze by the June 15th fire. Two were locked in for bedtime before the uh, oven caught fire due to a forgotten cake of left by the mother. Both children would perish in the flames. Cleanup was completed the following day and one house was repainted due to damage from the smoke. No charges were filed. If you have any information on whereabouts of this booklet, please contact the archive. Okay. Liminal Land, summer pamphlet of 1978. Three years after Liminal Land changed the face of Lake Valley, Sharon Corporation has merged yet another project bound to fascinate park visitors. Park go Park goers. Um, park goers. That sounds a bit close to something different. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Immerse yourself in an unforgettable experience you can't find anywhere else. Given its depth, the neon pool rooms. Mm, pool rooms. Mm, pool rooms. Mm, are typically empty. Chances are. You'll have it all to yourself. Rad! <laughs> Great, yeah! Warning, those with autophobia may experience discomfort in the Serenity Ward. If you're prone to this, it's advised to remain on floors B8 and above. So basically, this entire place is to basically leave reality in a way. They really like advertise losing yourself or truly escaping and stuff like that. Saying like, if you go here, you won't have to worry about the real world for a bit. And so that's why people stay here permanently, I guess. Or it may 
may be something completely different. Preliminal land photos of Lake Valley. One of the last surviving images from Lake Valley observations, the site of what would one day become Liminal Land. Within the building shown, clean energy was produced using various regions from the country. Directly beneath these facilities act sat bleh, bleh, sat their enormous underground housing development, which would later be repurposed into home. Oh, it's a, oh, it's like a painting of of houses. These images show the early days, years before they would begin their clean energy initiative. The town was small, remote, and rarely visited, which made a perfect place to build their power plant. There they are, building their power plant and such. The only known image taken of the hub. Uh, the hub. I don't know. This is a very close to the back rooms. I think that's what's going on. Here. I think they're just taking them to the back rooms, guys. I swear to God. The main energy sector of Lake Valley observations due to the constant reactions happening inside. The hub would eventually be retrofitted into the final floor of Subliminal Land, which made it one of the most highly sought after locations in the entire park. I'm still wondering why this head is gone. Mention of Dr. Schlittenberg in Science News. Oh, okay, 1959. The new world of computer-generated images. Oh, okay. The first published mention of Dr. Frank Schlittenberg in the weekly edition of Science News. Okay, dying of laughter. That is very funny. I'm not gonna read all that, but, you know, it's just talking about science and stuff. Oh my god, there's three pages. All right, let's speed up. Okay, this is a screaming lady, and I don't like that. Cameras on laugh track captured giggling passengers reopening on the summer of 1988. The ride had been suspended earlier that year and covered with massive tarps in an attempt to hide it from the public eye. The official reason given for its closure was several mechanical issues, with the tarps being used to protect the ride from the harsh sunlight. Yeah, okay. Many have gone to reject these explanations, some going as far to claim that the ride was closed due to an accident and potentially even total derailment, though to this point little evidence exists to back these rumors. The ride continued to operate that summer, much to the enjoyment of the park goers, and remained operational until Liminal Land's eventual closure the following year. Hmm. Okay. The sound and C block. Having trouble figuring out how to put Dr. S. Home's a f***ing mess. You become a colossal sh hole ever since Dr. S. decided to sell units for permanent stays, okay? All this man cares about is money, money, money. And the money, money, money. And the residents don't care. They sit in their rooms living like sh Their trash is everywhere and it stinks. How am I supposed to hire any decent talent if their first day on the job is cleaning up the mess the last team abandoned? Uh, we either need to shut off sections of home or figure out some way to get more people in here fast. I can't keep pulling these overnights alone. Not like this. It's messing with me bad. I haven't told anyone, but two nights ago I heard something down the hallway inside C Block. I'm not sure if it was because I was up for two hour, 22 hours straight again, but it sounded so f***ing real. It was Akin, Akin? Akin? To a child's scream. It's disturbing blood curdling scream found by what I can only describe as a, ooh. I know it sounds ridiculous, blank underground, but dear god, it hasn't left my mind since. Okay, so there's something here that no one wants anyone knowing. Some Something specific, but we don't know. We need more guys. I'm overworked. I'm tired. And if things don't change, I'm walking off just like the others because f this. Regards, Jason Franklin, Sharon Corp. Okay, okay. There's something interesting. That was in 1984. So this was a few years after all of the, the sh that was going on. Company training tape. Oh God, there's so much. All right, company training tape. Let's go. Liminal Land. <clears throat> the home video. Ooh, a, a. Welcome to Liminal Land. Thank you. Orientation Course 6. We are so grateful to have you join our team and hope we've given you a warm and memorable welcome thus far. As you've seen, we pride ourselves in ensuring that each visitor's experience is nothing short of positive. In this tape, we hope to teach you how to spot a satisfied visitor. Hey! Yo, I'm just vibing with the music, honestly. This is sick. Hey. Example. Children screaming. <laughs> These children are not having a good time. Oh god. This is the person. What? You try. Oh god, what? What? Look at the photo. Oh! Oh, what the hell? This is the person. <laughs> what does that mean? Look at the photo. Okay, that's not the person. Or is it the person? Oh, okay, this is the person. Just want to make sure. You can never be too sure if that is the person or not. Look at the photo. Ew. Her eyes are... What does this mean? What does this mean? I don't like Look it. Look at the photo. It's the girl on the right. That's the person? What does this mean? What does it mean that is the person? Look at the photo. Middle. Okay. None of them were the person. I'm sorry. The park is a lie. Oh god! 
Ah, what does this mean? Hey, yo, I just wanted to train, dog. I didn't know it was going to be like this, dog. If you encounter a dissatisfied visitor, be sure to make their day by suggesting additional park activities. When you're ready, inform your manager to initiate course 7 with the passcode right. Oh, and Luna Land, a happy visitor is a forever visitor. All right, we got to remember that. This, there's probably something interactive in this, but I, I'm scared. A, A, A. Wow, what a fun little video! Amazing! Now I know who is the person! Amazing! Promotional material for home. You'll feel right at home. The holistic and opportune mutual experience emulates the feel of suburban life away from home. So you can enjoy your time away while your kids enjoy theirs. Full page advertisement celebrating a facility named home. While little is known about what went on inside, rumor has it that it was Liminal Land's take on a reality bending underground suburbia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is when, like, a going, okay. We already know that. I've been reading along. Whoa. That looks like some weird core stuff. That is some weird core stuff. Reality or not, you won't tell the difference. What does that mean? Interesting. That looked more like weird core than uh, back rooms. Oh my God, there's more, there's a video. Oh, national anthem. Everyone stand up. This happened on channel five. There wasn't a lot of uh, channels. Oh, the, this is probably like a emergency broadcast or something. <coughs> emergency broadcast. Make sure to go into liminal land because you're really cool like to have you here. You know, I was not born before 1988, so I don't, I did not really know that there was sign-offs for Channel 5 in the 80s, So that's pretty cool. We obviously don't do that anymore because we, uh, everything in between is not very patriotic. It's more like, uh, just a bunch of advertisements for something that we don't want. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't watch TV. <laughs> oh, what the f- Hey, dude, I was watching the national anthem. Come on. Margaret Jacobson. Call 505 Frank Strother. I'm definitely not calling that number. I don't want to. I don't want any demons to be coming to go in my house. He looks like a nice man, except for the smile. He probably went on the lap. Uh, the the laugh track. Angie Munoz. He needs to clean his teeth. I can tell those teeth are screwed. Jerry Travis. She has two sets of teeth, or maybe that's just the bottom teeth, and you know, it's just like a shadow. I don't know. Mark Ordonez. He looks the most normal out of all, besides the his eyes. They're kind of like what's the opposite of crossed, uncrossed, whatever. Herman Reed. He looks very happy to be in the little land. <laughs> Roger Elliot. His hair looks weird. Like I'm just dissing all these children. <laughs> I will not do that anymore. This is a Hawthorne. Her teeth are very white. That's not a, that I'm complimenting. I'm gonna compliment from now on. I don't wanna diss any dead people. Lisa Stanton. He looks normal. I <laughs> I can't really say anything about him. He's he looks like a nice kid. How many people gone mi how many people were missing? Oh, okay. That was like what, 12? That was 12 people missing. Wow, okay. I, I don't remember how many specifically, but it seemed like 12. There was so many. There's a lot going on here, and I do not like it. Okay, like valley observations. These ones are kind of interesting. Recovered image potentially blank from the site that was once the home of Lake Valley Observations. This photograph was likely taken by staff members of Sharon surveying the land for purchase before its eventual renovation into subliminal land. Uh, it looks great, except that it looks kind of like if Rome met a state prison. <laughs> Emotional material. <laughs> emotional material, I'm sad. Paradise Playroom. Lose yourself in a new paradise. Endless play awaits for your chidlerin, young and old at Paradise Playroom. There's like a clown there. Why is that all devil red? They shouldn't have done that. Found in remaining company files, this poster once promoted the highly ambitious Paradise Playrooms, which was served as the park's alternative to daycare. Early reviews suggested that the attraction lived up to its name, with children joyfully spending hours lost in the maze of never-ending fun. Great! I love it! We should go here for Liminal Land. I'm gonna take my family to Liminal Land. Hopefully everything's okay. If not, then that's screwed. Margaret J. Missing. Lake Valley Police. Foul play suspected. Reward 8,000 for information leading. How much was 8,000 in the 80s? It was probably a, a lot more. Probably like 20,000. 125 pounds. Brown hair. Missing persons report salvaged from the Liminal Land main square appears to have been tampered with likely by a park or... It's still the same number. Promotional material Sharon Corp. Coming soon to Lake Valley. Northwest of town. Off of Country Road. Booze. Early promotional material cover from an abandoned Lake Valley residence document was inside of a folder with other early Sharon company files, leading us to believe that this ad was created sometime around 1974. Okay. Okay, so this is just like side information. Oh, 
Lord have mercy. All right, Paradise Playroom. Unnamed child photographed playing in an early variation of the park's signature Paradise Playrooms. The vast building served as a maze for children to get lost in as their parents enjoyed the more mature attractions in the park. Okay, that's kind of scary. So literally the promotional advertisements was like, you can take your kids to this maze and they literally can't get out, but they'll be happy to just continue getting lost in this maze. How are you even going to find your children? <laughs> that's kind of scary. There's someone dead there. Three part goes taking a break from the... Oh, four? Uh, there's three... What, what about that one? <laughs> three part goes taking a break from the expansive network of pools within subliminal land. They appear to be somewhere around floor B27, although nobody really knows for sure. How do you... Know? Okay, well, I mean, not a lot of information about this part. I think they're just talking about now. Serpentine. Okay, this one's interesting. Um, I want to know more about this. Utilizing old metal tubing, Sharon crafted a coaster that in hindsight Site broke every regulation in the book. Oddly, writers noted bizarre rail movement when passing the curve, some claiming that it appeared alive and snake-like. Over the years, Serpentine became something of an urban legend because of this, although this snake-like movement was likely because of its critical lack of support structure. Okay. Oh, 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 this is interesting. This is interesting. The happiest ride on Earth. They don't look very happy. Sharon Corporation's first foray into experimental roller coasters, the laugh track utilized specialized restraint compression to evoke uncontrolled laughter during its eight minute runtime. The potential for asphyxiation was still being studied, although strangely, not a single rider had filed a complaint during its brief run. It's kind of like a hypnotization. Like you're being hypnotized while you're doing this and then you turn into somebody much different. I don't know. It, feel, it feels like something's fishy going on. Okay, um, go to the gallery. Why are they all having fun? So, I, I don't know why that girl has like 10 fingers. Wow, that's a lot of people in such a small area. Fading memories of a place I'll never forget. Okay, why is this here? Uh, okay, ooh, I don't like that. Longing for a place I never knew. Oh, whoa, oh, that is not fun. I did not like that. Oh my god, oh my god, what the hell? This one looks the most normal, and it just keeps going. Oh my lord, some of these don't even look fun. These are all scary. They are reaching for God. <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> what is in there? I don't want to know. I don't want to know what's in there, actually. I don't. We went through all the pages. Okay! Let's see the part. Oh my god. Was it light? Oh shit, I forgot what it was. Right. What was the password? God dang it, I forgot the password. No, why, why would I want to save the password if it was wrong? What was the training tape? God dang it, now I gotta go back to the training tape. I forgot. To initiate course 7 with passcode right. That is not the correct password? Please enter the password below. I thought that was the password. Okay, fine, about Liminal Land. Dude, I don't know the password. God dang it, I missed something. Should I just look it up? I, I'll probably just look it up, see what it is. Okay, so I did a bit of research and apparently it wasn't right. It was right of passage. What the f- Hello? What the hell does this mean? Uh, what is this? I can't do anything else on this page. The Kotl Muluk mit Ramun over Capella. What is this? Why is there a cow? What if I uh, search image with Google? Okay. Moloch is a god. Moloch is a name or a term which appears in the Hebrew Bible several times, primarily in the book of Leviticus. The Bible strongly condemns practices which are associated with Moloch, practices which appear to have included child sacrifice. Oh, whoa. Okay, so they're sacrificing children? De Koto Moloch. Yeah, Moloch. The idol Moloch with seven chambers of chapels. What does the seven chambers mean? Apparently it was in the Hebrew Bible several times. What the hell? What does Moloch have to do with liminal land? So they're sacrificing children? But why do parents die? That's the thing. What? Democrats may worship pagan god Moloch. Shut up. So what do the ch seven chambers represent? So apparently it has something to do with the child sacrifice. I don't understand how because a lot, I mean a lot of children are missing. However, a lot of parents are missing as well. So what does Moloch do. There's probably a lot of stuff that I have to uh, understand about this, and it may. Ooh, 
I did it, it again. All I know is that this is a amusement park that happened in the 80s. People came because in the promotions it said it's a really good park and it's like this facility underground. It, well, it's an amusement park and stuff like that, but they basically gave people an option to stay here permanently because it's like, you can go away from reality. You can uh, live here forever and you don't have to go into the reality of the world and everyone's like, that's a good idea. And so they stay here. And on the surface, it seems like it was for money, but apparently, according to the freaking demon that sacrifices children, there's probably something else going on in this situation, but I am too small brain to understand fully. But this was a very interesting video, and I'm very surprised that there were no jump scares, but it was pretty freaking creepy. So, um, if you guys want to explore this yourself, I probably tackled everything in this website, um, but just let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you want to uh, traverse this website yourself so that maybe you can find something different that I didn't tackle on. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching, um, and I am going to have nightmares tonight. Bye!